I collect a lot of toys from the 80s and 90s, but this is my first ever action figure from the 1989 Batman movie. I'm going to talk about the first toys that were made for the movie. Add the other two I never got to have as a kid. That's what I like to do here is finish a lot of my old collections because I've saved a lot of old toys. Let's talk the first fully newly cast Batman film and its toys. So first we will talk about Batman himself, already opened, looking very broad-shouldered on the packaging originally. I love that freaking packaging with the gold color and the movie Batman text. That's how you knew they were the movie figures, because the same toys released in the store at the time, there were some superpowers, kind of just Justice League, comic book, cartoon kind of DC heroes released alongside them, like Robin and Superman and things like that. But you could tell these were the movie figures because they had that Batman the movie logo. So we can see I've played with this so much, the Batman symbol has worn off. So I have thought about getting a new one maybe, just for display purposes. Apparently there were a few different heads. This is the one I have, but there were other kind of slight variants and then even on the packaging kind of their prototype very different because it was just kind of a superpowers dc figure painted all black like the movie appearance which as far as i can tell he's only been all black suited first in that film can't seem to find an older comic so let me know if he would ever had an all black suit prior to that film but he's just got turning head the arms up and down he's kind of got slightly curved arms you got the legs that can move, and he's got knee. It's a little extra, not a little above and beyond five points. But the feature here is going to be his little Batman utility belt piece, as you can see. And that's actually a string here that pulls out. You can kind of have an in-body grappling hook. Hook this end, and it kind of does an automatic roll, too. Woo! It'll return to the... Either return to his belt, or Batman will climb up to the point where the hook is. And it does kind of have like a hooked edge and then a straight edge, so cool that it still works after all this time, so it must be pretty well built. You can see it's a little frayed from being so old and played with. I thought that was such a sweet feature for a Batman figure. He's got his grappling hook built right into his belt. So really we just have the yellow all the way around the belt, the yellow piece, and then eyes and kind of face colored, but the rest is all black. But he does have an open hand. Or some accessories. Came with the bat hair dryer for some mysterious reason. I assume this is supposed to be some sort of grappling hook like device too, but he's got one right in the belt. Maybe it's kind of like the missile launching gun like in the NES video game that he had as a weapon shooting those missiles. But just kind of a cool little gadget for him to be holding. Everybody lost him. <laughs> And cooler still is his Batarang he came with. That's kind of a hook loop here. I'm not sure what you were really supposed to do with it. Could fit in the hand, you can kind of imagine him throwing the Batarang. Can't really connect in any particular way with the string. So I'm not sure what that little piece is, unless that's a carryover from an older Batman figure or something. But two pretty cool accessories to come with. Just some little bat gadgets, even though the figure pretty much is good enough with this and a string mechanism. And a cloth cape. Of course the jagged edge there. I can't say if this is the exact cape this figure came with because this really set a precedent with all the future Batman figures all came with cloth capes almost just like this with the little loop piece there that would just kind of connect to the neck. So this might be from some of the other movie figures from this movie or Batman Returns. But they all pretty much had the same black cape, maybe just different in thickness. So you can see how thin this one is that you can kind of see through it. I always like that it had his jagged edge there just like the movie. Always got like a real cloth cape instead of just plastic. I even would do his little bat laundry and wash them once in a while if they got kind of dirty. So these were quickly released so they could be on the toy store shelves uh, for the film. Of course then they would do later ones of this movie. But this is the first Batman, his movie form. But now after all this time I can add the other two I never got to have of this particular line. We got Bob the Goon. Looking very different on the back of the packaging. <laughs> they did kind of weird uh, prototype images. And we kind of have the stars, a little carryover from the Superpowers toy line. You can tell these are definitely from the movie. These are the three figures that are for the film. 
And he had a few accessory vehicles. And there was its own bat cave playset particular to this movie. Not sure why that image is so offset. Very strange. Got a little bio card you could cut out. I didn't get to keep my Batman one after all these years. It's long gone. But dang, I just love this packaging like this with the gold. We got Bob, who he is the character in the movie that's like his henchman. So button activated power kick. These are Toy Biz before Kenner got a hold of it. Let's open him up fresh. We'll get a fresh Bob cracked open. He's got a sweet knife and a gun. Be sweet for a goon to have. <laughs> Very realistic weapons. Nice trigger on the gun. You got Bob here looking ridiculous with these eyes. <laughs> he just has tiny little dot eyes. His beard and balding head. All black, but he does have a Joker kind of logo on his jacket. Limited edition hat, which is going to make his look a lot better when he gets his hat on. Looks a little more serious there. But he's got his kicking action. Still has knee articulation. Otherwise, the arms are just gonna go head. But I think maybe Bob's spring is broke or something because he always wants to have his foot up. He's got this little trigger in the back that was supposed to be the button activated kicking. That leg just wants to stay right up, so I guess maybe it's been stressed in the packaging all this time. So I assume with the button he was gonna just be kicking on his own, but now I'm kind of worried I, don't, I can't even really stand him up <laughs> on his own because the foot wants to fly up. So maybe this is not such a great uh, addition there hat always wants to fall off too. It does not stay in place very well. But the hands are very tight. They can hold the weapons and have his knife. Yeah! Or you're just gonna straight up shoot a guy with the gun. And both hands are open so he can kind of have both or you pick and choose. At least there was some kind of henchman to go with the Joker because Joker didn't do everything himself. He always had some goons, so get the main goon here. Nice to have a little henchman villain guy to play with. But you couldn't really play around with him with the hat on because it doesn't really lock in place. It just slides off immediately. So no good there. Could have displayed him with the hat, but that foot is always going to pop up. I don't think I can stand him up. He's just going to have to have a seat somewhere. But hey, that's Bob after all these years. Finally got him. I'm Bob. Then we can finally add the Joker himself to my little collection here. We got straight up kind of comic book cartoon Joker on the packaging, but we do have that movie logo, so it's for the movie. Very close to the movie appearance. On the back of the packaging, the kind of prototype Joker has the orange, just like the film, although still a pretty cartoony head. And of course, he's got his wacky bio card as well. Squirting Orchid shoots water. So that'll be fun to play with here. We'll check that out. I just love how it says like fully posable. <laughs> this is this was the height of articulation at the time. Let's open up a fresh Joker. You kind of have to hate opening up some of these old ones, but that's what I do here. So see what the Joker's got. This will be kind of his water squirting pack. We'll try out. He has a stick. A couple little lines there, but seems kind of too tall for a walking stick. A sweet hat, although I expect it to fall off like Bob's. So we'll try it. We got the Joker himself here. He'll have his turning head, the arms. Can go all the way. Just got those legs with the knee articulation. Problem is he kind of went with like a yellow instead of orange which would have matched the film a lot better. And obviously this face is no Jack Nicholson appearance so <laughs> he's very uh, large and comic book looking but definitely was supposed to have the inside of his mouth colored but they just left it white. But he's got his crazy green hair and suit, the striped pants although they're not colored striped. But still, it's a decent Joker figure. If we can get that sweet hat. Oh, hey, you know what? His hat actually kind of form fits on there. Covers the green hair a bit, but he was pretty famously wearing that hat in the film. So it's pretty nice for a, if you're trying to go for a movie Joker. Again, a little long on the cane, but you know, kind of cool. Kind of hard to get into the hand here. Other hand is open just a little too much. It's not going to fit in there and hold. So it's got to be this right hand. Not an easy one to squeeze in there, but he can be kind of standing with his cane, uh, looking menacingly. <laughs> Personally, I'd probably raid Bob, maybe for his weapon, see if he can hold Bob's gun. Uh, his hand's a little small for it. He can't quite. <laughs> 
might uh, hold it too well there. You can kind of hold Bob's knife though. He can, hey, you want to know how I got these scars? Oh wait, that's the wrong Batman movie. You can only swap for the knife. Bob will have to keep the gun. But nice that they threw in a little cane weapon, considering he's got his hat and he's got this little mechanism here for his flower. You just kind of have to put the tube in there give it a squeeze so he can't really like attach this or anything it's just kind of a, an exterior kind of piece if you're gonna do the acid shooting orchid flower on his jacket luckily i have this suspiciously large jar of water here where did this come from i don't know let's give it a squeeze the air go out water goes in all right we got it full of water just save this water for later for unknown reasons what <laughs> <laughs> There's the spray. I think the seal on this is a little busted at this point and gonna get some air there. It's kind of hard to get to suck up water to use, but he does do that in the movie, so it's pretty cool that they went with that feature. But it's a little hard to use. I don't know why the hose need to be so long either. Kind of makes it harder. But at least he has a feature and it's not his only feature. He has his cane, his hat, and all of that business. But these are going to look pretty cool together as the original action figures for the Batman movie. Not entirely film accurate per se, but it was a cool little start and some of them do have some cool features to look at. I'm happy to have them. But I will be getting more of the movie figures here. The first film with the Joker and as well as Batman Returns, the sequel. Stay tuned for those and that's what I do here is open a lot of retro action figures show off what I used to have and kind of see what I can finish collecting because I love all the old action figure stuff like this so hopefully you'll dance with the devil in the pale moonlight with me next time in the next video I'm Batman <sighs> oh.